My name's Kurt, I'm a Northern California rice grower and we are right in the middle of harvest right now. Basically that means we got combines going into the fields, uh, pulling out the grain, loading it up in trucks and taking it off to the dryer. But there's a lot more that goes on during harvest than just that. You know, we also have field prep for winter time that happens right behind the harvesters. We have choppers going that go in and, and uh, chop the straw up, shred it up into tiny little pieces for better you know, off-season decomposition, and uh, we have tractors out disking or chiseling up fields, and that gives us good straw decomp throughout the winter as well. I wanted to do a video blog where I talked about some of the things that go on every year during harvest that maybe isn't as well known, and I wanted to talk about two things in particular. One of those things is something that I do a lot, which is go out ahead of the harvesters, look at all the fields that we still have coming up, um, determine you know, how soon we need to get in there with harvesters. Uh, it's not just a set schedule during harvest where we do fields A through Z. Uh, a lot of times fields dry out faster than you think uh, and you gotta adapt. And tracking grain moisture is the only way to really you know, hit the field at the right time. What a lot of us do this time of year is go out in a field, just go cut out some rice and strip the grains right off the head, run it through your moisture meter, and when you get your numbers, you know where you're at. And we like to cut somewhere in the, you know, ideally somewhere in the 19% range. Uh, sometimes you gotta go with it greener than that, and sometimes it gets away from you and cut it drier than that. Another thing we do this time of year is uh, get our conservation programs up and running. There's a lot of different types of conservation programs that growers can get involved with. Uh, and because rice ground makes such great bird habitat, there's a lot of programs available uh, for rice growers to convert their fields into habitats through different, you know, sponsored programs. The programs that we generally participate in are through the Nature Conservancy. And so we uh, are doing our second year in the bird returns program this year. And basically what that entails is coming in, chopping the straw behind the harvesters, disking the, the ground up, and then coming through and hitting it with a roller and mashing it back down again. And, and then flood it up with, with a very, very shallow flood. It turns it into a mud flat. Basically what that does is creates ideal conditions for short-legged shorebirds. Other than that, we just keep plugging away with our harvesters. It's been a great year. The yields have been record-breaking off the charts. I've talked to a few other growers and they say they're having really good numbers this year too, so this must just be one of those years where the weather conditions were ideal and, and everybody's having a really successful harvest.